Uh, hello, uh, today I'm gonna serve number 42, traffic rain water. Okay, let me read the problem. Given an non-negative integer is representing an elevation map where a uh, width of each bar is 1. Compute how much water it is able to trap after raining. The above elevation map is represented by a ray 0102101321121. In this case, 6 units of rain water a blue section are being trapped. So in this example, the output is 6. This problem is a hard level. Let's think about the solution intuitively. Okay, let's focus on the diagram. At first, I came up with a stack operation to solve this problem. It would be the ON time complexity. Iterate I moves from left side to the right side. And let's think about the first trapped water. How can we get this water amount? First, we have to push the first pillar. When iterator reaches the first pillar, we have to push the index i and each height. And then the iterator reaches the second pillar. We can do pop operation for the first pillar. At this time, uh, we can calculate the amount of water using the distance of two pillars and the first pillar's height. And also the second pillar should be pushed in the stack. Next pillar is also pushed and in the next pillar is reached by iterator. We can pop the previous pillar. And at that time we can calculate the trapped water. And at the next pillar we can pop the previous pillar remaining in the stack. At this time we should calculate the amount of water in upper level. Like this we can calculate all amount of water trapped in the pillars. Okay, let's see the algorithm. Okay, you can see the trap function with height as the input parameter. I use the for loop iterate height array and then the while loop is used to do the pop operation and calculate amount of water trapped in the pillar. This is the calculation of water. The amount of water is accumulated in water variable. And let's see this part. The height of trapped water is calculated by subtracting bottom from the popped pillar height. And the bottom is updated by the pillar's height. This calculation is required to calculate the trapped water sequentially from the bottom to the top direction. And this part need to calculate the remaining part after finishing while operation. Let's see this diagram. As you can see in the code, the pop operation is only performed for the smaller or equal pillars compared to the current pillar indexed by i. So this part is calculated by the while loop operation, but the purple color area is remaining so we have to calculate the remaining water one more time after a while loop in the diagram of the right side the blue color area is calculated by this code and always push the current height in the stack to calculate the next trapped water and return the accumulated water amount at the end of trap function okay this code performs the four milliseconds which is faster than 96.07 percent thank you for watching see you next time bye bye